What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you 8 ways to repair a copper pipe in the event of a burst due to freezing in winter, an accidental perforation, or a simple pinhole due to corrosion. Repairing a copper pipe could seem intimidating, but it's super easy to do. Some of the methods I use in this video are code and some aren't. Most times, when something like this occurs, having it repaired by a certified plumber doesn't always happen the same day, and we all know that going without water is easier said than done. So if you want to fix or stop the leak yourself by permanent or temporary means, here are 8 easy ways to get it done yourself. I'll be enumerating these by priority, so starting off with number 1, using two couplings and a piece of pipe. This is by far the most common and up-to-code way of repairing a leaky pipe, but it requires some soldering. This should be your first go-to method for fixing a burst, perforation or pinhole in any case. To do it, all you need is two couplings the same size as the pipe and a piece of pipe. If your water isn't already shut off, go ahead and close it before starting the fix. Cut out the damaged area using a pipe cutter and deburr the inside of the pipe before assembling everything together. The process of enlarging the hole is called deburring. Deburring the inside of the pipe will prevent turbulence which could cause leaks in the long run and also allow for better flow. You could either use a dedicated pencil reamer like this one or you could simply use a utility knife to get the pipe back to its original size. If for whatever reason the pipes don't have any play in them like this, you'll need what they call a repair coupling which doesn't have a stopper in it like a normal coupling would. These special couplings allow for you to slip it on the pipe as such to be able to fit the new piece of pipe in place. Once you got it in place, pull the coupling back onto the pipe ensuring that both pipes meet in the middle of the coupling, then proceed to soldering. If you're unfamiliar with soldering, I have an easy to follow step by step guide on how to do so. This video helped out thousands of people learn how to solder just after watching it one time, so I'll put a link in the description box below this video and also this card for you to watch it. Once you're done, wipe the excess flux and test it to make sure it doesn't leak. Number 2 is using compression couplings. This has to be the most user-friendly way of permanently repairing a leak for a do-it-yourselfer. These fittings are made out of three components, the fitting, a sleeve, and a retainer nut. When the retainer nut is tightened, the sleeve is squeezed between it, the fitting, and the pipe, making for a very secure and leak-free joint. To install one, cut out the damaged area just like before and slip on both the couplings and the new piece of pipe. You'll need two wrenches to tighten these but before doing that, make sure to apply some pipe dope on the sleeve. This'll ease the tightening process and it'll act as a sealer. If you turn on the water and this happens after tightening everything, you probably just didn't tighten it enough. Give it that extra quarter turn and it should do the trick. One thing that makes compression fittings shine is that they could be installed on a leaking pipe, making it the second choice on the list. Number 3 is using a shark bite slip coupling. These fittings are good if you're unfamiliar with soldering and prefer not taking any chances. They're super easy to use and don't require as many skills or tools to install them such as soldering kits or crimpers. To install one, shut the water off like usual, use the fitting itself to mark where the cuts need to be made and cut using a pipe cutter. Deburr the inside and outside of the pipe. If you don't have these dedicated tools, you could use a sharp utility knife for the inside and a file for the outside. After, identify the slip end of the fitting and insert it onto the pipe until it clears the other end and use an adjustable wrench to push it in till both marks are visible. And the repair is done. What's nice about these shark bite fittings is that they also work on pecs, CPVC and don't require any glue or soldering skills. They could also be installed on a leaking pipe just as a compression fitting. This method is code approved if installed correctly. Number 4 is using a kibosh emergency pipe repair clamp. I've already done a review of this tool on my channel and here's a link for those who are interested in watching it. 
The kibosh is an elegant device that'll temporarily repair a leaking pipe in under 5 seconds with no skills required. It's made from non-toxic materials so it could be left on a leaking pipe for days without contaminating your potable water, giving you a longer time frame to arrange for a proper repair. To install it on a leaking pipe, you need to first identify what size pipe you're dealing with and choose the appropriate clamp, and clamp it on, it's literally that simple. It works on steel, CPVC, PEX and polybutylene pipes which covers most residential and commercial systems around the world. The clamp could be reused as many times as needed, making it the most cost effective pipe repair you could get on the market. Since this is a temporary fix, they aren't considered code as they must be removed for a pipe to be fixed the proper way. Number 5 is soldering the hole shut. If there's a small pinhole that appeared on your water line, you might just be able to solder it shut to keep using your water. The first thing you need to do is to shut the main water valve and make sure there's no more water in the pipe by draining it from the lowest point in the house. Then, clean the pipe using an abrasive pad, add some flux and slowly heat the pipe. You'll see the flux start to change color, so go ahead and add some solder onto the hole. It should block it off and allow you to use the water until a plumber could come and fix it. This fix is not code approved and is only a temporary solution. Number 6 is using a copper wire. If you have a bigger burst as such, just adding some solder won't do the job seeing the gap is too big to fill up. Get yourself some electrical wire and clean it just like this. Like the previous trick, clean the damaged area with an abrasive such as a scotch pad or an emery cloth. Then, tightly wrap it around the pipe like you see here and use some pliers to secure it in place. You could then solder it just like the first trick and it should seal the pipe temporarily. Although this method could get you out of trouble for a day or two, it is not code approved and should be fixed the correct way as soon as possible. Number 7 is using alpha tape. This tape is made from an advanced polymer that fuses itself when wrapped together tightly and can withstand over 100 psi of pressure. It's also made with non-toxic materials and could be left on a potable water line for a quick repair if needed, although it's not recommended. Alpha tape is a pretty cool concept for a do-it-yourselfer and will effectively seal a leak under pressure, saving you some major damage. The two downsides to using this tape is clearance and reliability. If you're trying to seal a leak on a pipe that's too close to a wall, the fact that the tape needs to be stretched, you won't be able to use it due to the lack of space. And secondly, the fact that it remains a tape, it could easily be cut off or damaged which is why the kibosh is a more reliable choice in my opinion for a temporary solution. Both of these fixes cannot be left on a pipe as they aren't code. Number 8 is using an epoxy compound called Freeze Fix. This kit uses an epoxy saturated cloth that when applied will seal a leak or burst on a pipe or on a fitting. To use it, first knead the epoxy putty so that both part A and part B are properly mixed together. Then, apply it on the burst as such while making sure to taper both extremities. Then, soak the cloth in water for about a minute and apply it around the putty while keeping tension on it at all times until there's none left. And wait for everything to harden before opening the water. This kit is great for doing its job, but it's made with harsh chemicals such as the epoxy used to bond everything together and will come in contact with the water inside the pipe. Unlike other pipe repair kits, this one won't work if any water is leaking from the pipe, so you'll need to shut off the water and could sometimes take a while to find. Something else I dislike is it could get messy and if left untouched could harden and be really hard to remove. This temporary fix is not code and should be removed promptly for a proper fix. In my personal experience, there are much better solutions on the market for getting a leak sealed or repaired. If you guys haven't already considered subscribing, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of my next videos. Also, if you feel like supporting the channel, head over to patreon.com to become a patron. With this guide, you're sure to never be left surprised by a leaking pipe in the event of a burst, perforation, or just a simple pinhole.
I'll be leaving a link to all the products I used in this video in the description box as well for you to check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.